We'll start with 221B Baker Street. Uh, this game isn't in the greatest of shape. I probably wouldn't be able to get much for this. It's a great game, though, but I'm going to pass on this. So, yeah. Here we have Ripley's Believe It or Not. This is kind of a unique trivia game of sorts. Uh, well, I think I'll go ahead and get it. See if my family likes it. Here we have a word game called Disorder. Uh, looks pretty interesting. Uh, if for the price, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick it up. My wife likes word games. Here is the original Tiddlywinks, or I guess it's original, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's a really, it's a brand new copy. I, I'll go ahead and pick this up. Alright, here's a game called ASAP. Uh, this game plays exactly like another game that I have at the house, um, and I can't sell this for anything, so I'm going to leave this one here. Here we have a uh, game called Chester. It's an electronic chess teacher of sorts. Uh, typically goes for some money if it works. I don't know if it works, but I'll pick it up. Here we have a Spider-Man web launch game. Uh, this game also doesn't go for much, and I think it's missing parts too, so I'm going to pass on this as well. Here's a game called Oh Nuts. Uh, I would have definitely picked this game up if it wasn't missing parts. Uh, parts are kind of hard to get, so I'm going to leave this. Here is Let's Go Fishing. Uh, I've seen copies of this game around. I think I'm going to get this game for my son, Jax. He's two. I think he'll enjoy it next year. Here we have Zathra Adventure is Waiting. I already have this game, uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get this and give it to my friend Brittany. Uh, I think she'll like it. Here we have Electronic Snapple. I've seen a couple of Snapple games around, but this being an electronic one intrigues me, so I think I'll pick it up. Here we have Labyrinth. Uh, we have a couple copies of this game. Um, I can't really get too much for this, so I think I'm going to pass it. But a great game, though. Here we have an old game called Finders Keepers from Milton Bradley. Um, this game is missing some parts, and I don't think I could really make much with it anyway, so I'm going to leave this. Here we have Splendor. Oh, yeah. Uh, typically, this game goes for $30 brand new, but it's a game I've been wanting, so I'll definitely pick this up for sure. Here's a word stacking game called Connexi. Now you can tell the letters actually uh, stack on top of each other. Looks interesting. I'll pick it up. Why not? Here we have Hannah Montana Mall Madness. This is a brand new copy. Uh, I can probably get about 20 bucks for this on eBay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this up for sure. Here we have Bakugan Battle Brawlers. This is a game that goes for some money too, but unfortunately it's missing a lot of parts, so I'm going to have to leave it. Here we have the golf game. Uh, this is kind of golf simulator game, but it has some trivia questions too, and I'm not into that kind of stuff, so I'll pass. Well folks, that does it for this week. Tune in next time for another Big Game Hunting. We'll see you soon.